When a pensioner found that she was struggling through life, she realized she needed to change her habits and her body. But the way in which she did it is as unbelievable as it is inspirational. At the age of 65, Diana was going about her day doing some household chores, as she had every single day since she retired as a factory worker. It wasn't particularly fun, but it kept her busy. The daily routine was monotonous, and she had done them a million times before, and her aging body was starting to get tired and make the tasks ten times harder than they had been even several years before. But that was normal for a woman of her age, right? Well, maybe not. Diana had never been obese, but she was in a little bit of denial about her weight. She did have some excess weight on her body and this was causing her to feel fatigued, have very little energy and not get much fun out of life. She chose to turn a blind eye to her slight weight problems, thinking that it was normal for someone of her age to start to pile on a few pounds. Unfortunately, the subject came to a head when Diana's husband Marcus confronted her about the subject. It certainly hurt Diana for Marcus to force her to face her issues, but it was for her own good. And at the end of the day, she knew that he was telling her this to help her change. It wasn't that he didn't think she looked amazing, because he really did. He just didn't want to see her ending up in an early grave. Looking at herself in the bathroom mirror one evening after her shower, she knew that it was time to take the bull by the horns and change. She wasn't unhappy with how she looked, per se, but it was how she felt on the inside that she wanted to change. She had once been a spry and energetic woman in her youth, but now she was anything but that. Diana decided to join a gym. It's their first port of call for anyone that wants to improve their health and get fitter. The exercises there were very intense, though, and when partaking in fitness classes, Diana remained at the back, embarrassed about her lack of fitness, paranoid that everyone was looking at her and laughing, and worried that she was unable to keep up. She had never been into exercise or actively taken part in an exercise routine, but she watched everyone else at the gym, studied what they were doing, and followed their examples. Over time, her stamina started to build, and she could do more exercises for longer periods of time. It wasn't an easy road, and there were often times when Diana struggled to do certain things because of her age. But she persevered and tried hard, and eventually, she managed to get everything done. But this wasn't the most surprising thing of all. In fact, the thing that shocked Diana most, though, was how much fun she was having. Her initial goal was to lose weight and drop those pounds, but when she started achieving those targets, she set new goals. She now wanted to see what she would look like in peak physical health. It's strange, but I actually became a little bit obsessed with exercise, laughed Diana, remembering back to the long days in the gym. People expect women of my age to just bake or sit and knit, but that wasn't the life for me. I wanted to exercise. It really was giving me something to get up for every morning, even if I did ache on more than a few of those mornings. Over the next five years, Diana would go on to lose an incredible 33 pounds, while exponentially increasing her strength and mobility. It was truly a magical and inspirational thing to see, especially for someone of her advancing years. People really did start to notice the dramatic transformation, and they found it to be an incredible change. No one was more shocked and delighted than Diana's husband, Marcus. I was all for Diana going to the gym to get fit said Marcus, remembering back to her first embarking upon her fitness adventure. But I never dreamed that she would get so into it. I'm not complaining though, I think she looks wonderful, especially for a lady of her age. But then, she's always looked wonderful to me. While Diana's intention was always to lose weight and get fitter, there was an unforeseen side effect that she could not have predicted. Because of her age, she had garnered a lot of interest from other gym goers. They thought it was great to see an elderly lady working out so regularly and looking so fit and healthy. This, of course, eventually drew the attention of the press, who flocked from far and wide to see this incredible pensioner, who was in such good shape. Instead of shying away from the media, though, Diana leaped into it and hoped her story would inspire others to get fit. The networks would make news pieces about Diana and newspapers would run columns with big splashy headlines. They recounted her story and conducted interviews with her. 
Diana used it as a platform to help give hope to those that thought there was none. Just because she was now in her 80s didn't mean that life had to end there. Diana's story was certainly a public interest story, said one of the reporters, remembering back to when they were covering the transformation. People always like a feel-good tale that they can latch onto and use as a source for their own strength. And Diana did a fantastic job of capturing the hearts and minds of those people. And that's exactly what made her so newsworthy. What was clear, though, was that Diana couldn't keep going to the gym day after day after day. She needed to find a way to incorporate exercise into her daily routine. That way, she could get a workout while living her normal life. The last thing she wanted to do was stop going to the gym and find herself slipping back to her old ways and putting all that weight back on again. She needed to find the discipline and motivation to push herself even when at home. So Diana created herself a workout routine. Each and every morning, she would walk for 4 kilometers and then jog for an additional 3 kilometers. And most strange and impressive thing of all is that she always includes a daily 1 kilometer walk backwards. Swearing by the health benefits of such an unusual form of exercise, calling it knees over toes magic. She would then go about her daily routine as she did before getting into exercise, and then top her day off with a short but intensive workout. But did all this hard work have any other benefits? Well, yes it did. Not only did it help improve her general health improve, but the sores, aches and pains that were once all over her body miraculously disappeared. Diana also has as much energy as a teenager and is as fast-paced and active as a woman a quarter of her age. While she was once bored with life and struggled to make it through each and every day, she now grabbed life with both hands and enjoyed the ride. It's not every day that you meet an octogenarian that can do the splits with her torso touching the ground. Some people only dream of being so supple and flexible. I look back at how I used to be only 15 20 years ago, and I can't believe it," said Diana, reminiscing about those old times. I never thought of myself as big or unhealthy, and I was quite happy in my own skin. But it wasn't until I started to lose weight and transform that I realized that things weren't actually that good. Now I only look back to see how far I have come. I look forward in order to see where I'm going next. In my mind, I'm still a young woman. But Diana's story didn't end there because well into her 80s, she found herself going back to work. But this time, she wasn't slaving away in a factory as she used to. She would be motivational speaking and acting as a personal trainer for those who needed the motivation and encouragement to get up and partake in exercise. And that's where she is nowadays, still keeping fit and helping others. If Diana can do it at the grand old age of 85 years old, then anyone can do it. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? Have you ever heard of such an elderly person becoming so fit and strong? Do you, like so many others, see Diana as an inspiration? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.